this video, we'll learn to use geometric algebra to find the intersection of a line and a plane. In a previous video, which I'll link here up, up at the upper right, we learned to write the equation of a line in this parameterized form, which means that for any point x along that line, the vector from the origin to that point x is the sum of the vector p and some scalar multiple of the unit vector u hat. We also learned in another video, which I'll link that to up here, to write the equation of a plane in this form. And this is the equation of a plane that passes through the point A and is parallel to the unit by vector B hat. So in the problem at hand here, where we want to find the point of intersection, the vector from the origin to that point of intersection is equal to the vector p plus some specific value, lambda star, uh, times the uh, unit vector u hat. So substituting this into this equation, we get, well, you can read it here. And when we rearrange that, we'll get lambda star times the uh, outer product of u hat and b hat is equal to the outer product of a minus p and b hat. To solve that, we multiply both sides by the multiplicative inverse of u hat wedge b hat. And on this side, this goes away, and we end up with lambda star is equal to, well, you can read it here. So what is u hat wedge b hat? It's multi or I should say it's multiplicative inverse. It's the negative of that same product divided by the square of the magnitude of it. So how about putting some numbers on this, because sooner or later that's what we'll want to do. So what we'll do is specify some uh, set of, uh, or some uh, set of orthonormal vectors, right hand, a right-handed set, and express all of our vectors and our bivector according to that um, reference frame here. So p u hat a and b hat, or p u hat a, all that's pretty standard. How do we get the coefficients of these bivectors here? Well, that's the subject of another video that I'll also link. And we also get expressions for u hat wedged with b hat. And the thing to note here is that all of this, this um, sum of different coefficients, is a scalar. So u hat wedged with b hat is a scalar multiple of I3, which is a unit trivector for three-dimensional geometric algebra. Similarly, a minus p wedged with b hat is also a scalar multiple of I3, and so is u hat wedged with b hat, or it, I should say it's multiplicative inverse. So let's um, look at specific numbers here according to this reference frame. Here we have our three vectors p, u hat, and a expressed according to this specific reference frame, and also b hat. When we work all this out here, according to the formulas that we just saw a moment ago here, we end up with b hat, or I should say we end up with u hat wedged with b hat, is negative 0 0.83 times i3. The multiplicative inverse of u hat wedge b hat is 1.17 i3, and a minus p wedged with b hat is negative 4.35 i3. So to find lambda star, lambda star is a minus p, or I should say uh, outer product of a minus p wedged with b times this multiplicative inverse, a minus p wedged with b hat is negative 4.35 i3, u hat wedged with b hat, the multiplicative inverse is 1.17, so we get negative 4.35 times 1.17 times the square of i3, and the square of i3 is negative 1, so the result here is 5.09. One of the great things about GeoGebra, which I've been using here, is that we can check our calculations quite simply, usually, that we um, 
that we um, use to find or to solve problems in geometric algebra. In this case, we can calculate the distance or find the distance between the points P and X star, and we find that it is indeed 5.09 units. So this all checks out. I hope this video has been useful, and I hope also that you'll consider joining the LinkedIn group Pre-University Geometric Algebra, and I'll put the link for that group in the video description. Thank you for your time.